good morning it is a brand new month it is september 1st time of the tone is 5 32 in the morning it is a wednesday thank you guys very much for being here checking up on me saying hello we're here every single day 365 days of the year even though i haven't made it to the first year yet that's the goal and the identity is just keep on going until you can't go no more. I started a new book yesterday. Sent it to my mom too. Uh, the book is called Breathe the, uh, the, the Lost. Man, I forgot for exactly the title. It's, it's a book by James Nestor. And if I remember correctly, it's like called, called The Lost Art of Breathing. A new science on the lost art of breathing. And the reason I got turned on to this book was casually scrolling through YouTube and I saw one of those YouTubers I like, Mr. Uh, Ali Abdal, and he mentioned this book in passing. He does a book review every Friday. And he mentioned this book. And I, thought, I thought that was kind of nice. It's kind of a cool, cool thought, a little clickbaity uh, book title. But I just kind of put it in the back of my mind. And then the past couple weeks, I should say just the past week, I've been really focused on my breathing without reading that book, but just really, really focused on my breathing in the morning, especially when I'm on these runs. And I tell you not, it has made a big difference. It has, I don't know why, and that's kind of my quest of reading this book. That's kind of the reason why I'm, why I'm reading this book is because I'd like to understand what's going on. And some of the claims he puts out in the beginning are, uh, maybe a superfluous maybe <clears throat> it never probably could never happen uh i can't think of the word right now but anyway it's some big claims that breathing can affect and he says isn't isn't all breathing just breathing you know and he says no there's different types of breathing i mean because you know we just assume we have one mouth and one nose and it's just air coming in and air going out that it's all the same. So according to his claims, it's not. It's not. And basically, I, I, I finished the first two chapters of his book yesterday. And the premise of it is we've all forgotten how to breathe out of our nose, through our noses. And he does this test at Stanford, I think. He does this test where he plugs up his nose. And he's doing an experiment to see at the hospital or wherever test clinic he's at how much bacteria and cultures will develop in his nose if he doesn't use it for so i think it was 10 days 20, 240 hours yeah 10 days uh, i haven't got to the parts of the results yet but i will probably today it's very interesting um and i i do notice that yeah i feel better breathing through my nose and hopefully this might be one of the the keys that i'm looking for to kind of combating what i'm going through and these mornings i've been walking around and just focused on breathing in through my nose a lot more breathing through my nose a lot more more in than out but uh yeah just been kind of focused on that and it's made a big difference um energy levels i mean that that's just de de determined by how much sleep i get the night before and what kind of day i had the day before but uh just the thought of not throwing up in the morning uh that's huge that's huge because I hit a stent maybe three weeks ago for the, the, the next two weeks uh, that it was bad. It was just like, I'd be bent over over the side of the road and just puking up water, you know? Cause that's all I have in my stomach after fasting for the whole night, sleeping. Yeah. Sometimes it gets real bad. Like it'll start to pull, pull other stuff up that I ate the night before and that hurts. You know, you got the acid that comes up and the burning in the throat and all that nonsense. But I'm excited to get into this book a little bit more. Um, if you want, check it out. And I, hopefully there's some something in here that, that that's going to be of value to me, especially for my condition. But I feel good now. I feel calmer, maybe. Well, yeah, my heart's not racing because normally after you throw up, your heart just like goes crazy but anyway let's check that book out if you guys got some time uh 
once again it's called uh the lost new science of the lost art of breathing by james nestor it's all about how to breathe correctly um yeah but I'll, I'll let you know obviously on these runs and on these talks i'll let you know how the book's going um as far as the other book i was reading uh thinking fast and slow uh i have to give that book a little bit of a pause a little bit of a break it just felt too academic and i just was the the, the men's energy honestly the men's energy that i had to reserve to read that book prevented me from reading does, does that make sense it, it, it involves so much focus and attention that if i didn't give it that much attention all of the book just went way over my head but if i wanted to get something out of it then I really had to like stop everything and crack the book open and listen to every single and read every single word on the page and that just took too much for me just a little bit too much of it, attention and I noticed on my my will tracker that my goal this month was to read a book and then take some notes and I was doing good for the first couple days but reading that book was just tough it was just tough so I might have to split up uh split up that habit for this month and so i keep keep my read the book but maybe i'm going to make the other half like take down a note from anything so anything inspiration or anything from just anything just write something down that i can carry on with me to the next day so it doesn't particularly have to be from a book anymore because yeah last month's wheel uh, on on that circle uh, yeah i missed a lot i missed a lot and that's and, and i think the reason was because it was just too difficult <laughs> of a book for me for me for other people may enjoy it you look on amazon it's got great great ratings and i don't doubt that it's a great book but it's a it's a very academic style book and yeah you've got to be of a different <laughs> caliber to read that uh <laughs> read that book and casually casually read that book that's what i should say um, anyway good job keep it up thanks for visiting me again put this mask on and uh, we'll be back tomorrow uh, it's a new month so let's let's hit this month get it started strong got some good things happening in, in in my life and i've planned it out yesterday for as far as the monthly things and so next is the next is the the daily things and then get into pilot mode and i uh, keep going keep flying all right jesse you're awesome keep it up Love you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Aloha.